Just because 12 idiots found him not guilty, that don't give him the right to make your life a misery, does it? Yeah, it's got a right to be there. Yeah, but anybody with a scrap of decency about them, they wouldn't even... Yeah, well, I'll get used to it. I'll have to, won't I? So, Simon, what are you going to be doing today? What do you want to know? Hey, hey. Don't talk to Carla like that. It's OK. No, it's not OK. Answer her properly, please. Later this morning, I'm going down the street to my grandma and granddad's. Grandma will get me a glass of orange juice with a chocolate biscuit and granddad will say, do you want to go for a walk? I later? said properly. And he has done, haven't you? Right. Well, I hope you have a really lovely day and I shall see you tonight. No, you won't. Right, I'm off. See yeah, you. all right, love. Hey, and I want you to tell me if he so much as looks at you the wrong way. He won't. How long is she going to be here? We've already talked about that. I don't like her. I want my arm. <sighs> Look. Things have happened. Leanne's not here anymore, OK? Well, where is she? I'll go and live with her. Just finish your breakfast, will you? No. Nope. So go and get changed, then? No, I won't. So sit there, then. Yeah, I told him I was going into work for a couple of hours. Carla says you to work on a machine. It's what you paid for. Well, no, it's not, actually. Oh, right. What I paid for, then. For doing your job. Or should I say, the job you should be doing. I don't believe this. What's the matter? She's just point blank refusing to work. No, I'm not. I'm refusing to be a machinist because that's not what Frank brought me here to do. Oh, what did he bring you here to do? That's exactly what I was asking. To be his PA. Isn't that right, Frank? I'm not here to be a machinist, am I? You're not. No, Sally. Come on, Carly, you know that. Then what is she? Besides what we know she is. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I think we all know what you are, don't we? Come on, ladies. Let's try and be civilised, eh? Oh, you know what, Sally? Do what you like. Sit on your busy backside all day long. Why should I care? You can't just say that. Yeah, I can say whatever I like. Nobody takes any notice of me anyway. I mean... So you're on holiday? Oh, yeah, I am, but, um... I just saw Paul coming out of your house with, um, that his wife with him. Yeah. They're, um, both staying with me. No. Yes. Till their house gets fixed. Are you and him? Well, no, I don't want to know. Him and his wife are staying in one bedroom, and I am on my own in another. Well, now how long is it going to stay that way? Well, no, I shouldn't be asking, should I? No. Keep your nose out, Julie. Yes. We're not open. Thank you. you mind yourself on this? Step? Can you just move all this stuff? I want to work here this afternoon. Well, you can't. The way you should be working is out there. On a machine. Do you not listen? Right! That's it. Well, she's got no right. Frank, could you come in here, please? Right, listen, the lot of you. What's going on? What's going on is too much bickering and not enough work. So I propose, as of now, it finishes. OK, no more sniping, no more arguments, no more backbiting. Yeah, and who's the cause of that? Um, you, as I remember. I thought we'd had a meeting about this. Yes, well, it didn't exactly achieve a lot, did it? Except maybe making things worse. So? What are you suggesting? We have a business to run and folk out there depend on us for their livelihood. Hmm, that's true. So can we not all just behave like adults? OK, and, I, and I'm talking to you two when I say this. Let's cut back on the nasty comments. You know, let's just pretend that we've never met before. Let's pretend that today is the first time we've all worked together and we've got to be very polite. Oh, as easy as that. Well, no, it won't be easy, but we have to try. Well, I'm happy to give it a go, Carla. Shall we shake on it? See, that's what I mean. What? The smart stuff, the, the little jibes. Sorry. It's got to stop. And it will. I apologise. No more clever comments. From now on, we're all going to be polite with each other, aren't we? I hope I always am polite. <laughs> OK, well, let's leave it there, then. I need a drink. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I know you think I won't be able to carry it out. And you think you can, do you? Being nice to a bloke that's done all that to you. Well, the deal isn't that I'm nice to him. It's just we have to stop fighting, otherwise the whole place is going to fall apart. So you think Sally can keep her mouth shut? I know both of you can. Hello. Stand up. Oh, you don't mind if I go, do you? No, you go on. Just I want a word with Pete. It's all right. It gives me a chance to practice my smile for later. Let's follow up then. 
No, don't smile. Just don't bite anyone. <laughs> Obi. You know, I think, uh, I think more than anything. So I'm really hoping things were a bit better. And if not, we'll just kill him. <laughs> well, that's plan B, yeah. No, I think you're being very brave, love, really. Mm. You know, any other woman in your shoes, they would have run a mile. So my big problem... What's that? Simon. No. Oh, he hates me. He can't stand the sight of me. It's because you're not Leanne. Oh, how am I going to solve that one? Are you not? You don't try either. That's my problem. <laughs>